Generation Z is the generation that says, you show me your trophy, you intimidate me. Mm. You show me your scars, you inspire me. Mm. You show me how your scars it. became your victory, you transform my life. It's impossible to talk to them unless we are transparent. Unless we are naked. Unless we are naked. We go into the chamber yeah. and, you say that, and you show them your scars show and then them you show these scars. How did you make them great? And we will earn their right. Hey everybody, my name is Angie Morenga. You're watching Just Angie. It's Mwene Inchi Monday and today is the third and final part of a series that I doing with SK Blue on Kingdom Finances and Kingdom Economics. Uh, and there's a course that they run at Gold Finance Academy to disciple minds on money. And I really would love us to be to gain governance in terms of, of, of money and how it works, and especially for kingdom kingdom citizens. I'm gonna just share something that he said. Everything he did in this class really blew my mind. My, my book is full. <laughs> but he says the worst investment is cash. Money must work and you must be able to call it. So here's the quote. Transact with the money when it is working. Call it when it's time to transact and it will give birth to babies. And this process of birthing continues. Yes, you see how he makes profound statements. Yeah. But they, they are profound statements that caused me to think, to disturb my head yeah. and to go forth and say, okay, what are we doing? Yeah. And causes us to come into action. Yes. Mm. I think, I think it's important for us to realize that the essence of our mandate is subdue, take no dominion, be fruitful, and multiply, multiply and replenish. Exactly. So the multiplication and replenishing element is a core. Everything wow. else is a process to it. Wow. Yeah. So fruitfulness is given because everyone, in everyone there is a deposit of, he said, he created the birds and hid fruitfulness inside of them. That's true. He created the plants, same, same. He created man and hid fruitfulness. Mm -hmm. Even when he wiped them out after Adam, after uh, Noah. Noah, he came again and said the exact same thing, mm -hmm. that he hid fruitfulness inside of them. Wow. So fruitfulness is a given, but multiplication will take discipline. That's true. Yeah. Which takes accountability, which, which takes, takes about leadership, which uh, takes about truth, consistency, yeah. truth. <laughs> that we don't wow. want to... To, to face. No. So when we come to that, then we have to realize that if it is our mandate to get ourselves to multiplication, mm -hmm. why do we need to get to multiplication? Mm -hmm. Because we need to be able to create infrastructure of discipleship. Yeah. Yeah. Infra discipleship does not happen in a vacuum. Discipleship happens mm. in an environment, an ecosystem That's true. that is predictable. Yep. And the predictability is, is, is normally something that, that people want to break that predicta predictability. Mm -hmm. But discipline is brought on reputation. Yes. Yeah. And it ha we have to be held accountable to, to do that. So multiplication, therefore, is for us to build infrastructure. And in an economic sense, is infrastructure is businesses. Yes. Where we can be able to say, in this business, these are the values that we will run by. Mm -hmm. Infrastructure would be media. In this mm -hmm. media house, these are the values that we will run, run by. by. Yeah. Infrastructure could be, uh, could be how people are building cities, how people are building mm -hmm. villages and, and the end. Because at the end of the day, whoever owns the infrastructure basically impl implies their values. That is so true. So we are looking at a movie infrastructure that is not built by values that are like yours mm -hmm. yeah and you're seeing things pop up and you're wondering allah you're seeing cartoons with things popping up so we need multiplication so that we rewind the tape and build an infrastructure that can build gaming that can build cartoons that can build can can build movies and 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 cities and all these things that are based on the values of the that kingdom. we believe in yeah unless that then we lose it and you see, we're at a point where we are compromised big time because kids, they say, below 24, mm -hmm. we learn through reference. Yeah. Okay. And after 24, we learn through trauma. Through trauma? Through trauma. So below 24, everyone has a hero. <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And the biggest heroes are media heroes. And the media heroes, heroes are manufactured by... You know, 
outside the values that you want and the values that you believe in. Yeah. And that's a problem because a generation therefore is birthed into a set of values that will get them to a place, as they say, where a generation was born that didn't know Joseph. Didn't know Joseph. Yeah. So we are running out of time because as we wait, they are learning, but they are <coughs> not learning from us. What are we waiting for? We are waiting to impact them. So yeah. we see even as a, as a Christian society, yeah. we wait for too long. Wait for too long. Before we impact our children. Yeah. And this is the thing. Waiting as well can be a myth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we are waiting for something we don't know. The so the world is, is not waiting. Mm -hmm. The world is creating and influencing them. And this is the thing. The language changes with every generation. Sometimes we think that the language that was used for a previous generation will work for the next generation. And it's not so. Every generation has a language. And um, a pre-colonial generation had mm. one language. Mm. Their language was liberty. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was freedom was important. The generation that they gave birth to was the generation X. Their language was ownership. Yeah, they didn't care for freedom. They, they cared to for, own. yeah, Kamchanga. And the generation that was born <laughs> after them was called the millennials. Mm -hmm. Man, they didn't care for ownership, they cared for access. access. Yeah. Those are the people who are accessing everything. Exactly. The and they're sharing. And F and because sharing. it's an access Airbnb economy. And, everything, yes. and the previous economy was an ownership economy. Yes. Yeah. And now the, the millennials have given birth to Generation Z. Z. And they don't care for access. They, don't they care, care for authenticity. Yes, those yeah. are the authentic people. Yeah. They That's say what they I love about them. Yeah, they say authentic is the new smart. smart. I love when yeah. you say that. So, so when you look at it like that, even the, the, the church itself has to evolve with yeah, this language. Yeah, because the language is not changing. Mm. See, that's another thing. That's why they're not interested. Yeah. The, the language is not changing, and we can't even get into that. Even the leadership is not changing. It's not changing. See, you, you have a, I have a different way of thinking yeah. than, than, the, than the generation that I'm trying to reach. Mm. So unless I try to think like them, yeah. and I also get other people to reach them, because we're not speaking the same exactly. language unless I learn to speak. Their language. their language and we can't force them we can't yeah. force them into this culture and i think even as you're saying authentic is the new smart mm. i think that's another thing that they are seeing that they can see people maybe in churches who have the money but maybe they know they haven't gained it the right way mm. so they're not interested in that one mm -mm. they want the one who has gained it probably in the right way yes. but there's also something you said which that generation z doesn't have a culture no, they are cultureless. They are cultureless, so they need to be taught. And, that, and, and they are right, that's so good. Because there's a, the kingdom of God has a culture. So they have so no teach absolutes. them that culture, they have no absolutes. Yeah. And that can be a danger as well. Yes, when they are cultureless, it means that they, have a, a, they are a hybrid of everything. Mm. So values as well, they have no values. Mm. You don't know where they'll end up at. Because there's really no limit. Yeah, And that's a dangerous thing. Think of it that... Uh, every every election is won by the generation of the day, mm. and the generation of the day is not necessarily the smartest, but they're the majority. Yes. So, you see, all of a sudden, younger politicians it's just because their constituents are the majority, which mm. is their demographic mm. age. Mm. Mm. But now, a generation is coming that is cultureless, and we are looking at it, and we see they don't know what we believe in. And they don't care for it. That's the thing. Nonetheless, in not too long, they will be the leaders because they'll be the majority. Yes. Whoever has the numbers calls the shots. That's so true. Yeah. And if it's that way, then we are running out of time because we have to disciple them before we are the minority. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so it has to change from that particular point of view. How do we disciple Generation Z? But we can reach them in the we, we, ways. We, we can. Generation Z is the generation that says, you show me your trophy, you intimidate me. Mm. You show me your scars, you inspire me. Mm. You show me how your scars became your victory, you transform my life. It's impossible to talk to them unless we are transparent. Unless we are naked. Unless we are naked. We go into the chamber yeah. you said, and you show them your scars, show and then them you show them these scars. How did you make them victory? And we will earn their right. That's true. Yeah. Now to speak Even to music for kids right now, mm. It's not music that millennials used to listen to. Mm -hmm. Millen millennials used, used to check out fashion and gadgets. Yeah. And the ones before, they used to check out completely different things. They used to listen to storylines. 
And now, Generation Z doesn't care for that, cares for pain. So the songs that are the biggest songs are the most painful, painful songs. songs. Yeah. Um, horror movies are huge it's so sad. for this generation. Like the they movie. relate to pain. Mm. Yeah. Because they think pain is authentic. They believe it, it's authentic. What are their beliefs around money? Because their beliefs are around money is they are conscious. Generation Z is a conscious generation. Mm. They care for the environment. Yeah. They care for conservation. This is the generation that knows there's no inheritance for them because it was squandered by the generations before them. Mm. Yeah. Because their moms and dads are millennials who care for themselves first before they care for That's anyone amazing. else. So they know it's squandered. So they are the accumulators. Mm. They are the conservative ones. So to them money is what you use to rebuild. Yeah. They are the rebuilding generation. That's amazing, because we're in a season of rebuilding. Yeah, they are the rebuilders. But the current generation, which is the millennial generation, is the entitled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they squander. So decadence uh, is a, a face in an empire. Every empire had, a fa uh, had faces in rising and falling of an empire. And an empire before it fell, if it fell, it always went into a phase called the phase of decadence. So in that stage is where people squander. Is where people say, I was born why, with plenty and plenty will always remain. And therefore they squander because they don't know how to build it. They didn't have to build it. They, no one taught them discipline. Everyone protected them. And they realize much too late that resources deplete. Mm. Yeah. And it's not the resource money, the resource time and energy. <coughs> mm. Yeah. Then another generation comes in and takes, a, takes care of the resource that is money. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Gold Avenue Africa. I'm sure the contacts are all across your screens. Please contact them. Please sign up for the classes if you don't have a way to organize. Um, maybe you, you're just an individual, um, please sign up for their classes. If you have the power of the Commonwealth, bring other people into this transformation and into this knowledge, and especially if you're Christians. We have to, we cannot be caught unaware. We must be aware of the principles that drive money, of the principles that grow money, how to create wealth, how to ensure that it goes from generation to generation to generation, because our God is a God of generation and how this money um, <clears throat> empowers yep. the commonwealth. Correct. Can't be by yourself. Yeah. This is for everyone. Very and true. there's no hoarding. It's called sharing. Mm. God bless you. Bye bye.